That's good. That's so good. stupid. I don't know where it is. Absolutely perfect. Did I go through the tree? Yeah. Hey golfers and welcome to the Four Club Challenge Modified for 2022. I'm Drew and today I'm joined by Thomas and Danny out here at Les Bolstead and a modified Four Club Challenge, that's right. Last year, Thomas and I did a Four Club Challenge and Thomas went four under on nine holes. So we're gonna change these up a little bit today. We're picking three clubs plus our putter for three holes. Then we gotta switch, put those clubs away for the round, pick a new three clubs for three holes and then another three clubs for the final three holes. Uh, so a, a lot of strategy involved with this one, Thomas. And so uh, let's just get right into it. We're on the first tee. First three holes, what are you going with? Yeah, it's not just strategy. We're going to be talking a little about the tech that we're using today as well. Because yeah. it's important to bring up why we chose these particular mm -hmm. clubs mm -hmm. and why we have, we have them in our bag. For my first three holes, I've chosen my 3-iron, my 7-iron, and my 52. Okay. First hole was 370. You know, if I maybe go 3-iron, 52, or... Yeah. Somewhere between a seven iron and 52, hopefully. <laughs> and then the third hole also is about the same distance, kind of down the hill, I'm hoping to do the same thing. Three iron, then 52-ish. Okay. Okay. And then we have one par three, the second hole, which is about 190 yards, depending yeah. on where the pin is. Yep. yep. So you got your seven iron for that. Seven Ideally. iron for that, yep. All right, well, Danny, what do you got? Um, very similar, very similar. I've got uh, my trusty seven wood. Yeah. So, you know. It's like a warm hug for me, something easier to get <laughs> off the first tee with, so I'm comfortable with that. Good. And then I've also got uh, the, uh, the eight iron as well, and a 56 degree too. So um, hopefully this gets me to about, you know, 120, yeah. something like that. And uh, then I might have a decision to make from there. Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna be fun. Well, that's that's the strategy <laughs> element of this game. It's a different one. None of us have played anything like this before. So uh, I think we're excited <laughs> to see how it turns out. And uh, for me, I've got Ping I-500, that's the top of my iron set, four iron. Mm -hmm. I've got my I-210 seven iron and a 50 degree wedge. So very similar to Thomas's setup. So I think I've done some quick math in my head on these first three holes, but of course we don't know exactly how it's gonna play out. So uh, you guys ready to tee off? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Thought he had it. Thought he had it. Did not break like I thought it would. Oh, what a four. Thank you. Good four. All right. Couple good fours. One hundred and sixty nine yards. Front pin. My math was just not right on I this I think this situation. wind is actually hurting a little bit, though. Well, I've got an interesting... Oh, gotta go with my seven. That's what, that's what I picked. Just time to get a little creative. There's either that or saw off the seven wood. <laughs> so... <laughs> That'd be a fun shot to see. A fun to cut seven wood. <laughs> if it was 175, I'd do it. But... Oh boy, get down. Hang on. Well, it's far enough left, I probably can hit my 52 degree. <laughs> okay, Drew. You're right. Looks a little far. Great right, shot. A little far, yeah. <laughs> Great swing, Drew. Thank 20 you. feet, a little far. How I far choked. down were you on that grip? I was pretty far down, did you notice that? Have you done that often or no? I do that when I have to, it's you know, I'm choice. in between clubs. I just, <laughs> I try to swing mostly full and just choke down. Well, I'm shorter than both of you guys, distance-wise. I think there's some wind I've up got, there. I've got there. one less club, too. I'm almost thinking of... Well, nope. No. Commit it's to it, hit one. it. Just gonna hit a slinger. This is short ain't that bad. Oh, there's no draw. <laughs> Might be on top of the hill, though. Oh, a little over it. All right. I think that was probably the right club. Advantage Drew. Yep. All right, 36.1 yards. Never a good thing we have to pick the range finder out on a par three. Very, very short-sided with the green, so I don't have much to work, <laughs> to work with. Um, I've got a different wedge that I would normally go with. Usually I'd play my 60 for a little bit more loft, 
but right now I'm kind of forced to play the 56. So uh, I'm gonna try and open it up a little bit. It'll land it. You know, it's still in the rough, probably just short of the green. And have a bump up there, hopefully. We'll see what we can get here. Need a good one. Uh, try to get a little cute, not so much. So for this shot, I would like to have a 60 or a 56. What I'm doing here in 52 is open it up to turn it into a 56 degree wedge. So just getting a little creative. Great shot. It's good by me. Thank you. Yeah, it's good by me. Maybe I should chip with my 52 more often. <laughs> well, got a big sample size there. Chill, chill, hit it, hit it. Oh, give it a chance. It's a great roll. Ooh, that's a good pot. Quite hot enough. Oh, here we go. I hope I have enough right distance. For iron is the play. This is like my favorite T-boy out here normally, just a bum driver over the trees. That is gone. Can't do that today. Can't do it today. I still think I can get this down the hill though. Now I just gotta use the hill. See, I'm worried about that. Can your ball stand that hill? Is it possible? Like. Yeah, then you'll have seven iron. Well, then I'm you. like hitting like this. <laughs> Get a little further left. Ah, I don't see it. Oh, I see it there. That's no good. All right, come on. One more good four. That is so high. <laughs> that might be at the top of the hill. Get over the hill. Oh, well, that'll be an interesting shot. <laughs> <laughs> How does a four go that high? That was. <laughs> We're, you're, we're into a little bit of a breeze right now. You can see the flags going that way. I suppose. All right, Mr. Farrell. Yeah, got uh, that warm hug seven wood again. See what happens. Got around it. Risky. Oh, I did hear uh, your uh, <laughs> you, were, you had to be close to getting around it. Ooh, 136. Oh, is it a little far? <laughs> yeah, yep. we got a we got a tweener club here. Yep, bunt eight or a massive fifty six from Danny. <laughs> well, I don't think anything massive is in my game anymore, so <laughs> we're gonna go with the easier, softer way here. A little chippy, chip eight. Gotta make something happen here. All right, so in jail over here, uh, seven iron is my only option. Well, three iron, I guess I could use that too. But got about 110 yards. My goal is to try and get close to the front left of the green, going low and under the trees. So a little punch shot. Wow, that's sit, good. Sit, 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 that's that's really so good. stupid. That was pretty close. All right, well, for me, the good news is that. I'm pretty much on my 50 degree distance of 124. The uh, bad news is the wind is like this, so I have to really kill it here. But I don't want to hit seven iron from 124, so I'm not doing that. Get there. Shot. <laughs> All right, got that trusty 56 degree again. What a little redemption from the last hole. I short-sided myself, doubled. So let's try and get one back here. See what happens. Roll out just a smidge. Okay. Well, I don't normally putt from the rough, but uh, this <laughs> might be one you might think about since I only have a couple of choices. Don't they say usually a uh, the bad putt's usually better than kind of an average yeah. chip when you're just off the fringe. Oh, you're the bump and run king though. You keep yelling at me for doing a bump and run. It doesn't, doesn't quite fit my formula though. Yeah, I know. No way. Ooh. 
Good roll. How much a short game looks pretty darn good today. Yep, another good par. He drops it. Oh! oh. <laughs> I really okay. thought that was dropping. Okay. All right, well, fellas, we're through three holes. Uh, we've had some tricky situations already come in, uh, to fruition here. Thomas has survived with three pars. Uh, Danny had a little bit of a hiccup there on the second hole. Uh, yeah. And then I had a kind of a rough up and down uh, on that first hole. But I think we're, we're surviving, okay? And uh, now we got three more clubs with us. Uh, so I guess I can start. Ping G425 LST 3 wood. Uh, I'm going to use that off the tee, probably on two of these three holes. I got my 8 iron, which I'm hoping is the right distance for this par 3, although with this wind, I'm a little bit skeptical. Uh, and then my 54 degree wedge, I got 10 degrees of bounce on, on this S grind here. So uh, that is my three clubs for the next three holes. Uh, pretty similar for me as well. Yeah. So I've got the Callaway Apex UW 17 degree. This is my fairway rocket. So that's yep. going to be on the two par 4s off the tee. Mm -hmm. And then I have a, I'm going to need to switch this. I'm going to go with my 56 degree wedge. I'm um, hoping I'm going to have a couple of shots around about 100 yards. Yeah. And then eight iron, same thing as you're thinking about the par three. Which I'm still trying to figure out yeah. this wind because it's picking up a little it bit. Is. But I'm hoping it it's going to be pretty cool. a little cool. skeptical. This par three is going to go back into the wind. So. <laughs> yeah. so here's where things get interesting. You guys are both longer than me. I'm going to go with the nine wood off the tee. I've got wind on my back. Yep. And then I'm going to go with a club lower than you guys. I'm going to go with seven iron. Okay. And then definitely get out of that 56 degree. I didn't have much luck with that. It yeah. Kind of <laughs> cost me a couple strokes there. Yep. So I'm going to try the 52 degree instead. We'll see what shakes out. All right. So Danny, just want to ask you here real quick. You got a heck of a lot of lead tape on this <laughs> nine wood. Just tell me about that. Yeah. So um, for the lead tape, you know, I'm just trying to get the swing weight right. You know, with the, especially with kind of building a nine wood that generally don't see an extra stiff shaft in those, right? It's a very uncommon club for a lot of players. So in order to put a heavier weight shaft in here, I had to rebalance it or re-swing weight it. So there is a mountain of lead tape on that and swing weight comes out to about D6 right now. So it's on the heavier side, but exactly where I want to be with kind of a nine wood form. Interesting. So. All right, very cool. Let's see it perform. I hope so. Good ball. The quick, the quick tee pickup, it's always yep. a good sign. Yep, 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 yep. Just scoot off that tee box with a fairway finder. That was, that was kind of beasty. Let that one bark a little bit. All right, so nine would turn out really, really well. Found a fairway. We might even find a green in regulation here. <laughs> Let's try and get one. But 130 yards away. Feel, feel pretty good about the 52. I got to step on it a little bit, but got the wind at my back to an uphill green. We'll see. So with the downhill lie, this should start a little bit further right than expected. No! Just short, it's rolling all the way back down. All right, so I got 90 yards over here, not a bad layup for having a 56. This green's fairly small and the pin's in the back, so I'm gonna try and land this about 80 and have it kick forward back to the flag. That looks pretty good. Yep. That should be pretty good. good Wouldn't expect anything different from Thomas Campbell. Right. Yep. So I've got 88 yards, another feely wedge shot with my 54 degree, because again, this is usually my 58 degree right here, but mm -hmm. so I have to make sure with this wind, pushing a back pin, I'm trying not to go over. So I'm kind of playing it like 80, 80 ish yards, and that way I'm mm -hmm. sure that I'm not going over. If I'm a little short, I'm I'd prefer that. Good shot. Ooh. We'll see. Oh, man. Well, I've definitely got a dicey one right now. I am missed short side, which is not decided to do it on, but I didn't have the right club. <laughs> so I'm definitely struggling with this challenge a little bit. But I'm in between a 52 degree or kind of bunting up my nine wood a little bit. To be honest, kind of looking at the green itself with the pin all the way in the back. Mm. You know what? Let's try it. Nine wood. Just trying to just grip down a little bit, get this thing rolling. Mm. 
All right, up and over the fringe. It's gonna go left. Ooh. There it is. Oh, what a save. Woo. Up and down nice with the nine wood. There you go. <laughs> How about it, huh? It worked out. I'm telling you, if I can just get to the flat stick, I'm good. But getting Clearly. here is the problem. <laughs> Thomas, you just outside me there? I think so. Never Good a putt. doubt, Drew. Very nice. Good putt. That actually broke left. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, you didn't see mine? Well, I see, I don't know why I see, I see going that way at the hole. Maybe I'm just blind. <laughs> well, you, I, guessed, you guessed right, because I, I went in the middle. I, I thought I was gonna be, you know, Missing right on that putt, then it goes back. I'm like, what? I think this is getting pretty close to the right club, though. I'm thinking that too. Solid I'm eight. worried about mine getting so high, though, that the wind yeah. is. I'm going to hit a little, little knockdown. Yeah, let's keep it under I the wish wind. I could control something like that. I could, but it's just not likely it actually happens when I want it to. Oh, big pull. Hang on. Oh, stop. Hang on. Stop. Well, could be worse. I thought you were heading towards bunkers. So. All right. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go. Shoot. Oh yeah, that's right on the target. If it's the club, go, a little. go, go a tad. Oh. Man, that wind is up there. So I'm in between either the, the nine wood again or uh, the 52 degree. But I don't like that slope there. Looks like a very tricky spot to land a 52, hard to predict. So you it's know, gonna roll all the way up? Yeah, it was either a Texas wedge, but I want a little bit of loft to get that thing bumping and rolling. So it's gonna go up a little bit right to left. See if we can't go. Uh, I, I love the creativity, two. I do. Yeah, we'll see what happens. As long as I can get up there, it should be good. Oh, a little spicy this time. Sit a little bit. Right, so another circumstance where I wish I had my 60 degree wedge. Show sided here a little bit, but nice thing you always come with your sand wedge, you can always open the face up. You don't always have to carry a 60 degree wedge to hit it close. Pretty good. Thanks. Good job. 54 degree wedge for me here. Uh, again, another shot right, you usually hit 58, but just gotta open that face a little bit. It's a tricky one, because I can either bump it and hit the hill, or I can kind of go open face and try to land on the green. I'm gonna try that route, which is a little trickier, but I think I have a higher chance of getting it close. Pretty good. Nice shot. He didn't do it again. Oh! <laughs> Oh, one of those days, I guess. Three wood is in the full swing here. These tees are back a little bit than from where they usually are. Got them on the real tees today. All right. I'm just going at the green. Oh, that's a good ball. That's ripped. Perfect. Wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah, beauty. So 83 yards. Coming off another good swing with the nine wood. Uh, let's see, hole was 326. I've got 83 left. So a little bit of math, 240-ish, with a little bit of a tailwind on the nine wood. I'm thrilled about that. But now I'm in a dicey situation yet again. <laughs> so I've got a 52 degree here. Uh, generally, this is about my 115, 120 stick. So, you know, cutting about quarter out of it. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna grip down a little bit, just do a little nine o'clock swing and hopefully we can hit a green in regulation. It'd be the first today. Oh, that's good. Sit a little bit. The first green today, baby. <laughs> We're trending. If I can make that, that putter is hot right now. I'm liking my odds on this one. Thomas hit that about 320. Into the, the green the back side, side of that bunker. That is a absolute nuke for a 17 degree hybrid. More loft, 
little bit of tailwind, we'll be honest there. But we saw it as soon as that went up. That was going a long way. Thomas's, yeah. Yeah. Even, even for years, how far do you have now? Oh, I didn't even look, but probably 40, 50 yards. Oops. 50 yards? Ow. Let's, uh, I gotta negotiate our, these trees, so I gotta kind of be. Our pinned range finder here, 50.3. See, I'm dialed, F 50 yards. So I gotta negotiate these trees, but I, the nice thing is I have 54 degrees, so I should be able to hit a pretty standard pitch shot. I just have to land it short of the green though. And it's gonna be kind of unpredictable with the rough there in front, so. Just kind of hitting and hoping for the best a little bit. Little punch under those branches. Hit the sign. Oh, great shot. What a play. Yeah, I'll take that. I uh, yeah. almost did hit the sign. <laughs> yeah. That would have been, been bad. So this is my 56 degree wedge. Uh, it's got 10 degrees of bounce on it. It's a fairly long bunker shot, so this actually is going to work out pretty well for me here. Um, let's see if I knock it inside Drew. I'm still dumbfounded with how far I hit this club, though. I was trying to hit this at this bunker so I knew I couldn't reach it. Those Apex UWs just go really far. Well, that was not very good. No sand. This looks like fun. That's car path relief, is it not? Yeah. But even if I drop it. If you want it. It's in the same spot. You don't have to take it, but. This is no good. So this shot here is basically jail. I'm just trying to bump this through the rough. Hopefully get the speed right. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty Great darn good. Play. Ooh. I'm up pace. Wow. What a save. Up and down. One way to make par on this stupid short hole. <laughs> But, oh, very nice. Birdie? Birdie. Birdie. First of the day for everybody. Yes, as sad as that is, yes. Nice job. We got some birdie holes now, though. Guys, we're through six holes now. Um, more challenges there through the last couple holes. We got saw Danny get really creative with nine wood <laughs> in the short game. Thomas with one of the best par saves I've seen out here. Mm -hmm. But now we get to hole seven, eight, nine, two par fives and a par three, which makes us really challenging. I see we've all got driver. Yep. Uh, right. And then from there, for me, I'm going nine iron, which was not my original plan, but hole eight's going to be downwind, so I'm going to go nine iron there, and then I'm going to kind of just make it work on these other two holes. And then I've got my highest lofted wedge, my 58 degree. Yeah. Also got driver. I got six iron. I figured, I didn't even know when I'm going to need it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll switch to nine. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but uh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the change now. I'm going to change to nine. Oh, you are going to change yeah, nine. Because okay. I think my second shot on, on nine might be a, Yeah, it might, might be, be short enough. Iron. Yeah. yeah. OK. Um, and then second shot here might be nine iron as well. So okay. I'm going to go driver, nine iron, 60 as well. OK. OK. And I mean, scores so far, Drew, you're even coming off a hot birdie on the last. Thomas is one over. I'm four over, so. Kind of comes down in between you guys, probably, well, in these last couple. We'll see if I can make golf. up some magic. A lot of golf but left. I'm uh, copying you guys as well. I've got the driver, um, then I've got a six iron, and I as well have my 60 degree. Finally. Yeah. So <laughs> let's see if we can't turn it up and go low on these back three here. All right. Oh, that's so through it. Find a gap over there. You might. Be a good like nine iron or six iron next shot. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a nine iron, so we'll see. <laughs> or driver off the deck. <laughs> ah, same spot. Cut a little. Get a kick. Cut a little bit. It's on my line, it's just probably. Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna be in a similar spot there. Uh, kick back down. Did it? Oh, still, I see it. It's You're still in the jail though. Oh, beauty. Shot there. Look at that. Shot shaping Danny Farrell. Oh, yep. babe. That's perfect. Let's go. So, perfect tee shot there. Uh, now I've just got a six iron into this par five. Uh, looks like I'm you know, about 240 into the green yet. So now that I have my 60 degree back in my hand, goal is just to get this up there as far as I can. Make it a good chip shot going kind of uphill back into the wind here. So. Well, I'll turn this into a true par five. Just gotta get nine iron back around the corner. 
give me a chance to my 60 for my third shot. Hmm. Talk us through this one, yeah. Drew. Terrible eye. <laughs> Feet, one foot in the sand, one out. Have nothing. I'm just gonna try to punch it that way somewhere and <laughs> hope it's okay. I could, the smart play probably go out that way, but then distance wise, I think I'm still not in a good spot. So hit like a low punch up, just hopefully get out through the fairway. It's probably not ideal golf strategy, but here we are. I don't know where it is. Absolutely perfect. Did I go through the tree? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> how you dial it up. Just had to walk after it to make sure it was good. Well, 96 yards into a braise. I did not hit a very good shot. I clipped the trees coming through, so now I've got to really jump on this, on this 60 to get it back to the flag. So the dynamic loft is going to be decreased here at impact quite a bit. It looks like it's there. Should be. Oh, oh yeah. Long. Yeah, you're even far. It should be pin high, right? I think. I can't I see the ball, Looks but like it's gotta a, be good. A touch long, maybe. Hopefully not, because it's jail back there again. All right, after a great drive, great six iron, kind of dialed it up exactly where I want to be. Um, I'm right at about 68 yards. It's gotta be tricky, because I'm a little bit shallower type player. I like to deal off the club a little bit. I'm gonna, a little bit of a downhill, going to an uphill green. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if we can't get it up there. A little bit of spin, kind of let that bounce and roll. But 68 yards, I finally got my 60 degree. So feel like I have the right club for this situation. Good shot. Ooh. Ooh. This one's about as straightforward as it gets. 35 yards, a lot of green to work with. Just trying to get it up there close. Uphill slope here too, so no problem get the ball in the air. I think that's good. Three birdie looks, huh? Yeah, let's make three birdies. I like it. Come in. Oh, tried to. Good roll. Play too much break. Good five. Oh yeah. Another one. <gasps> that God. barely even came off the putter and you're already gasping, Drew. I knew I pulled it right away. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need to speak to you about some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I think I managed Danny here with that with the club selection. So trying that talking about that dynamic loft and that impact we're gonna have to be like <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like here. Yeah. Look yeah. at your box, Danny. Hey. Draw. More draw. Cut lead. Ground hook, maybe. <laughs> 184 or 85. Nine iron. Have to hit this very good. Absolutely. <laughs> it was a full send on that one, Drew. Oh, it's, it, it might be far enough, too. You know, right. if you outdrive me with your nine iron, I've got a six. I hit it really good. I mean, you might have to carry your clubs the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nine iron, back foot. Yeah, see, Thomas is, knows the science of the swing to get some extra distance. I'm just <laughs> a swing harder. Just brute. It's a long nine iron. <laughs> oh, he might have done it. Played Hang that on, draw, back foot. It's got to stay right, though. That's probably not going to be very good. Short. I think it's a, it might be sand. Although not a lot of green to work with. Got to get it up right away. I'm gonna do what I've done a whole five. Open the face up, try and land on the green instead of hitting it into the bank. Almost a mini flop shot. Shot. Ooh, very nice, Drew. Wow. Thank you. That's good. Is it good? Looks pretty good, right? I, I think so. All right. Tell you what's not good is this lie. Oh, bite. Oh, I'll have some bite on it. Oh, that is unbelievable. A little better than the last bunker shot. Are you hit. kidding me? Wow. That's crazy. I almost feel like I'm obligated to give him the putt now. Because he gave me one. I mean, it was shorter than that, but. It's got 
some speed. Yeah, a little too confident with the putter. Yeah, had to give it a run. Oh, one right. I think it's a classic jinx talking up your putting last hole. Great up and down. Unbelievable save. Thanks. All right, ninth tee box. We've completed eight holes. Uh, I think we're, uh, some of us are being luckier than others. Uh, and I would say <laughs> I'm being lucky based on my shot last hole and directly through the tree and got lucky there. Other, you know, others of us, Thomas, you had, I don't know how you saved par on that last hole, but that lie there was something <laughs> incredible. So, um, all right, we're on, I mean, how do you think, feel like we're playing right now? Uh, but given the circumstances, given the, the format of the game and kind of the, the bounces we've gotten, what do you think, Danny? Well, I mean, it was, for me, it was to be expected. Yeah. Um, you know, not getting to play much, short game goes awry right away. Thankfully, the putter's been decent, minus the last hole. I yeah. feel like I've had pretty good yeah. club selections in, mm -hmm. but just a little bit of execution, kind of missing out on that. But looking forward to the last one, par five, oh, just yeah. full send it, don't leave anything in the tank, and go from there. For sure. Thomas, what do you think? I know you're not super pleased probably with the score, but yeah. I, I would say you've, you've grinded pretty well given you know, the shots you've had to Yeah, things. I'm struggling a little bit with my own demons right now. Yeah. Um, just a couple of, a couple of things on the, on the putting green I'm struggling with a little bit, but it's not far off. We've got birdie here. You hit this thing in the fairway, I think it's your hole, but uh, <laughs> well, if you don't hit it in the fairway, there's a chance. There's... I think I'm going to make a birdie at some point, right? Or right. maybe something lower. Yeah, so. par, short par five. Uh, I'd like to get in the red numbers here. I'd even yep. par, but... Yeah. What, uh, what are the scores at? I know I'm still four over. Yeah, even, and we got one over. So Ooh, we've, yeah. got, uh, we've got a tricky, tricky, well... We've got a lot, the last whole uh, theatrics here potentially. So par five. Uh, it's all going to come down to this finish. guy for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got the box. Yep, it's your box. May open the door. Mm-hmm. You think you got that nine iron chip for the trees with? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked for him once. Dang it. <laughs> Mm. Is that going to draw back? I know. It's trying to fade a little on me. Yeah. I think you have a better chance than I do, though. Yeah. 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 Hit it at the tree, though. Oh, baby. Go. Good right ball. down the middle. All right. So, position A for me. Hitting the driver well. You know, that was about 280, kind of threaded the needle right in between the bunkers here. Playing right into my strong suit. It's right at about 205, 208. Uh, I've got six iron again. Can't quite get there, I know that. So I'm gonna lay up just short for that 60 degree. Try and get another birdie. At least finish strong here. Perfect. Oh, yep. There she is. If I had a bigger club, I might try something crazy, but I gotta just punch out here. Yep, I also have to make sure I keep it low enough. I'm putting it behind my stance to keep it low. All right, you're out. I totally just made a mistake. What? I could have gone this way and had 150 yards for a nine iron. <laughs> but now I, I don't have a club. Okay, I have 163. You would normally think it's a perfect nine iron yardage, but I think more to worry this is gonna be a little jumpy. So I'm probably gonna play like a 1030 swing here. To get rid of the chance of it flying over the green. Go ball. Go, 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 go. Didn't jump. All right, I'm gonna commit the Thomas Campbell Cardinal Sin, which is to never hit a full swing wedge. <laughs> but I'm 113 yards. You can I'm chip either, a nine iron. We either got choppy nine iron or I've got a full 58. I'm gonna go full 58. And I have to hit this like really good. Go a little bit. Well, mm -hmm. right distance. I put the back in my stance. Can you tell by <laughs> 30 yards right? That's quite the uh, quite the divot you took there. All right, so almost got to the green. That was uh, driver six iron. Couldn't have really doctored it up any better. Um, 
Got a little interesting chip shot over the bunker, but I've got my most lofted wedge, so I'm feeling pretty good. And if I can get to the putter, might be able to finish out with a birdie. Let's finish strong. <laughs> wow. Great roll. Way to finish that out. Thank you. Pressure's on now, Drew, isn't now, it? Now, Drew, you got to make it to half. Thomas is going to come back and beat me. Got to make it to half. Make it for the tie, huh? Wow. Just when we were talking about taking putting lessons. <laughs> you just show me up. I like it. Well, I have to make this now. Oh, stretch. Ah, I had the line. It's good in my books. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> 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 Another good one. Wow. You do not leave, like leaving putts short, do you? <laughs> no. Just ram it no. in the back. <laughs> well, Thomas, uh, that's quite the clutch eagle to, <laughs> to win the, the mini tournament here. Uh, 34, impressive 34, considering all the different shots you had. You went, you know, <laughs> that up and down from the cart path on six, and the bunker save on eight. Some really good short game stuff. Danny coming around with a couple birdies down towards the end. Uh, a couple of miscues, I think, but of course, I think that was to be expected with the game we were playing. Um, and then I got lucky a few times with my my gaps that I had and hitting through trees. But you played pretty uh, well. I mean, even, even par with you know. I had a couple good a couple of choices of clubs. It's pretty. A couple good. good saves with my wedges. Um, yeah. That was that came in handy. But I think let's, let's talk about that game because it's an interesting one. We again modified four club challenge. You know, first three holes, you play three clubs plus putter, those three are done. Um, would you guys have done anything differently having played now and kind of knowing what the wind was doing a little bit more times, so maybe you can start? I may, may have switched up um, my irons on the, on, on the first three, second three, and yeah. final three. That's where I probably would have switched it up. Yeah. Instead of being stuck between having a six iron or a nine iron to choose for the last three, I probably should have left myself a seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean... The wind was picking up as we were playing. When we first yeah. teed off, it was no wind, and then the wind kind of switched off right, a little right, bit. Right, right, yep. right. Yeah. What do you think, Danny? I mean, for, for me, I, I feel like I played pretty well. Yeah. I think the club selections I chose were were decent. You yeah. know, I think uh, I need a lesson or two from Thomas here on just some setup stuff. I was leaking everything right with my irons today. Yeah. Not sure. I will but, say, though, uh, off the tee, with anything that was a wood in your hand, it was <laughs> a perfect draw. <laughs> Every right. time down I'm the very so happy with the driver seven and nine wood, but only thing I can think of is you guys had an advantage in the middle where you guys carry three woods or the Apex UW, where mm -hmm. in my bag, the kind of the lowest uh, wood would be the seven wood. Yeah, okay. So, you know, if we're going to play this again, maybe I might throw in a three throw wood in there just uh, to be a little more competitive, but, yeah. you know. Putts fell. I think this was a good challenge, so very, yeah. very fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, it, it, to me, I think, you know, I think Thomas has told me before, but like it makes you think a little bit more when you're actually playing now. Like I'll be more willing to hit different wedge shots or use a different club for a certain right. shot. You might be willing to bring out the nine wood <laughs> on the bump and runs, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. you know, I, I know I enjoyed doing it. I hope the viewers enjoy it as well. I think it was a lot of fun. Thomas gets the win, which was expected, but did it in dramatic fashion. So yeah. uh, I think that the key point is on the golf course, you never have the same golf shot over again. Correct. Right. So creativity is really important. Mm -hmm. I played an event a couple weeks ago where I lost my five iron and I had only had 13 clubs and I'd be ah. creative with four iron or six iron a few times on the course. Yeah. So creativity, really important on the golf course. For sure, sure. Well, golfers, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the challenge and uh, we'll see you next time on the Second Swing YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like.